Again, the Vatos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from this coming at you live from the West Coast yet again, San Jose, California. We are looking at the new announcement from Indian just happened uh, earlier this morning. And uh, we're looking at the bike. And based off of what I see, I am very impressed with what they have to offer for, you know, 19K. So they have now initiated a $600 surcharge, kind of like what Harley's been doing. Uh, with their uh, lineup so I, I, like I said I've been looking into this I don't I don't believe I've seen it but this is the first I've seen it so far they, they now have a $600 surcharge for of course uh, shortages and inflation stuff like that's going on so you know regardless $18,999 or $18,999 that is you know honestly pretty good uh, of course, you also have the lowrider S, and that's slightly below that. But you do get a TFT display on this, so I'll get into the details and uh, what you know, my own two cents. But you know, compared to their their dark horse, which is right over here, of course, this is 18K, and you have ABS. So that's just one of those things that you have to keep in mind when you get a lowrider S. ABS is optional. This stuff comes standard with ABS. So, you know, this technically, this is actually cheaper than a Harley Davidson. All right. Once you, of course, you know, put put that factor in that you're getting ABS and you're also getting a TFT display on this thing. So what's the huge difference between this and, of course, what Indian already has and what, you know, it's just the stuff that I've already test ridden quite a few times myself over the last two years. You have inverted forks. That's one of, you know, a huge key detail. And like I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, uh, you can't get that for a thousand bucks, which that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm impressed that you're getting inverted forks for only a thousand dollars. Plus, you also get dual disc brakes, which is another huge one, of course. That alone, you know, just the inverted forks alone, it's well worth the extra thousand bucks. All right. So you get dual disc brakes, you get inverted forks, and you also get... Um, you also get an improved rear suspension, so you get piggyback uh, rear shocks, and and they're made by Fox. If you guys know, if you guys followed my channel, you guys seen my my videos. I've actually installed the Fox shock. You know everything on top of the the inverted forks is just icing on the cake, uh, and you also get a new redesign on the front wheel, and it looks really nice. Okay, so you had a, you, you get a massive front brake, dual disc brake, like I said made from Brembo and you also get a 28 degree rake which is kind of like the lowrider is so for the rest of the lineup with the chief it's a 29 degree rake handles very well it feels light the engineering the you know it's got a low center point of gravity a very well designed bike it handles amazing all right and not to mention you also have ride command on this thing which is very impressive this is one of the features that I want to see out of you know in the Harley I want to see riding modes but Man, this thing feels like a beast. Let me tell you, it feels like a it feels like a beast in sport mode. You guys have to be very cautious when you do test ride this bike in sport mode. All right, it is very responsive. It's 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 actually very scary. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, new quarter fairing here that Indian has redesigned, or they just have a new fairing here on the uh, Sport Chief. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, you know, it's different. It's a quarter fairing. It's not as 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 nice as the um, as the Harley Davidson. Have you guys seen Harley's new quarter fairing? You know, it's a little bit more sleek. This, you know, I, I just I can't really say the same. But you know what? It's different. You know, people are gonna like it. People, are, you know, there's there's you know, it's just it's something new. So it's nice for them to kind of try to reinvent uh, the quarter fairing. You guys also saw they also made another one for the Scout. Uh, kind of like they're touring so uh, a couple more angles of the new the new fairing i think it looks all right you know um of course you have more options you have a little flare on this one which is neat so different options when it comes to the uh to the uh, fairing but of course you also get full leds all the way around on this bike you still don't get that with a harley el diablo you get uh, you get bulbs so it's got a nice stance to it. You know, like I said, I really like what they did. Oh, and another thing to kind of note as well that's uh, quite impressive 
is the um, is the risers so you have six and a half inch risers on this plus you have the handlebar so I'm not too sure I know it's a moto style uh, handlebar but I, I don't know if I believe it looks like a mid bend so it's probably two and a half inches so all together you have the six and a half on the riser and then two and a half on the bar so that you sit at what is that how many inches is that seven inches all together overall bar height right no 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 six and a half two so you get about nine inches on on your handlebars which is you know pretty tall i have i have 10 inch bars on my bike plus the the uh plus the uh, moto style bend uh, handlebars so i my handlebars sit at about i believe about 13 and a half um overall height so you know a lot of people go with the uh with the eight inch bar but you know we'll, we'll just see how it feels you know if i ever get a chance to test ride it if they do come back here in san jose i'll obviously i'll show up for the event and we'll see what they have to offer but you know i like the powertrain on this bike i like the handling the one thing that i'm not too fond of is the four gallon tank and everything else man this this bike is it's it's impressive all right I, I like what they did mid uh mid controls nice nice handlebars you know i really like the 116 i like the riding command uh the ride modes i like the uh, the style of the wheels the dual disc brakes inverted forks plus of course like i mentioned they have abs standard so if you get a lowrider s with abs that's an extra 900 bucks so that's the yeah the lowrider s with abs will cost you more than this so just my two cents you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think so you guys stay out there stay safe thanks for tuning into yet another video uh, later <laughs>